What if I told you that the depth of support in the English game is so deep that we've got a tournament dedicated to our third tier and fourth tier football clubs and academies? Come on, come on. And more people attended the final of this tournament in 2019 and 2023 than the average attendance at Barcelona. Last year, 79,389 packed through the turnstiles to watch Bolton Wanderers beat Plymouth Argyle in the final. Established in 1981 by the Football League, the Bristol Street Motors Trophy is a tournament for League One, League Two and Academy football teams. So how does it work? We have 64 teams that enter the 24 teams from league one and the 24 teams from league two plus 16 premier league and championship academies there are 16 groups of four the top two of each group will progress to a round of 32. We have a northern section and a southern section. The Bristol Street Motors Trophy is regionalised until, come along, the semi-finals in which this year we had a North v South and a North v South and both the southern teams won. Which brings us to the final. Peterborough United versus Wickham Wanderers. If you could sit down with some of the players today who want to make the absolute most of 90 minutes at Wembley, what would you say to them, what advice? I would tell them to play their game, not the event. As soon as you go on that pitch, it's work, it's your job, this is what you do, this is what you're paid for, but go and do it to the best of your ability because you might not get another chance. Everybody starts off with a dream and part of that dream is to play at Wembley. You're in awe, it's kind of like a, it's a real gladiator's arena. When you're young, it's excitement. When you're old, it's excitement. Drinking in the morning sun I've supported Posh for seven years now and this is my first time at Wembley. Local team, dad's team. When I was younger I did support a top six team but then the first game I went to Posh, that was it. I was a fan from there. If we could win that would be brilliant. Um, obviously if we lose it'd be very disappointing but to win at Wembley for the fans just be brilliant. What made me behave that way? These are the words I never say. I can only think it must be wrong. Oh, anyway. What looked like me trying to escape with the football was actually me stepping up to pass the match ball to Brummy the car who has the all-important job of delivering the ball to the players for the Bristol Street Motors Trophy Final 2024. It's looking like a beautiful day. How old were you when Peterborough last got to the final? I was 12, so that was 10 years ago. And were you there? Yeah, I was, I was there. I was such a big fan, and when you're that age, like it's just going crazy. Did you really believe 2014, one day, you'd be wearing the shirt and doing it yourself? Yeah, after watching that game as, as a young boy, I thought, this is what I want to be, because obviously the atmosphere was it was always in the back of my head, like, that's, that's what I want to do when I'm older. I definitely dreamed about it. Obviously, when you're, when you're a fan, you look onto the pitch and think, one day, as a footballer, this is this is what you want, and to make that happen today, yeah, it's a dream come true. I was only 19 when I signed for Peterborough, and I'd been let go by Leeds, which was devastating for me, you know, because I didn't think I was ever going to be a footballer. I realised how important it was, you know, playing for a town or a city. Nobody knows who will come second in cup finals. They always remember the winners. I was proud of the way they composed themselves at 1-0. I've seen games like that where it just turns on its head so quickly. I thought we were very mature at 1-0 and I think that went a long way to us actually nicking the win.
I've never seen a group of supporters willing the sound of a whistle more than right now. We've hit four minutes of stoppage time. Every second over that is just extra. Referee, you have made these supporters wait long enough. Four minutes of stoppage time is it's almost become eight. I mean what on what on earth? Four became eight. Eight has become nine. Surely any second now. The energy was great, you know, the fans were brilliant, you know, and we went for a walk this morning, they were all walking up Olympic Way, and it's actually quite a satisfying thing, making people happy. I was speaking to some of the fans after the game, and there were people saying, you know, give Harrison Burroughs freedom of the city, you're like posh legend already. And just there was one guy who actually said he's been lucky enough to see some amazing Peterborough captains in the years, but you epitomise everything that he wants to see in a captain. Ever since a young boy, I was, I've been a Peterborough fan, so my dad started taking me to games when I was four or five years old. I've just managed to luckily see him in the crowd and my mum and the smile on their face and how proud they said said they are of me like it's yeah so special i know what it's like to play play for the badge and i know how the fans feel so to hear that is yeah special and it's really nice we're winning one more time the winners of the bristol street How do you think that you hold on to a feeling like this? How do you make the most of it? Um, yeah, good question. Um, I think we've just we've obviously got six games to go in, in the league, so we're definitely going to be using this as, as momentum and motivation. Um, it's hard really to put into words at the minute, but um, I'm so overwhelmed. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a great feeling. Somebody was a winner and somebody had to be a loser.